Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my smart American accent training. In this video, we're go going to look at the words best, bet, bed, and beg, as well as back, bat, bad, and bag. So obviously you can tell the theme here is looking at vowel eh, as in red tent, which is in these words, best, bed, bet, etc and vowel a, ah, the black cat vowel, which we see in words like bat and bad. So uh, I do have a video talking about each of these vowels separately, and also a video talking about the words men versus man. And you might've seen that on the preview for this video. Um, and I think what's helpful when you're looking at words like bet and bat, is to have an anchor point to understand what the vowel sounds are in these words. First of all, these vowels are typically very difficult for non-native speakers because often you don't have these vowels in your native language. And so you don't really have an anchor point in your listening ear, as well as your speaking, how they feel in the mouth uh, to make a comparison. So these two often get interchanged in, in uh, accented speech and understanding how they're made and how they should sound can be really helpful. Also understanding what the accent error patterns you have are on them so they can get interchanged and then there's also some other information I'll share about them. When we're looking at these vowels, I think it's useful to look at um, the shape our mouth makes for the vowel. So both the eh and the a ah vowels are front vowels, which means the resonance is happening near the front and in the back of my mouth, my tongue might be a little bit high um, and not super open. Um, we have one other high front vowel, one other front vowel, which is even higher or more closed, which is the I vowel, like in did or in bit versus bet and bat. We're gonna just focus on these two more open ones. So what I wanna feel is that when I'm saying a word like bed or bet, my jaw uh, doesn't open too far. It's basically kind of central. It's the same amount of opening I have for the schwa vowel, which sounds like uh. So if I'm saying, for example, a bet, the bet, or some, uh, some bets, using that vowel schwa that sounds like uh is gonna help me feel how open my mouth should be for these vowels. Uh, versus the a ah vowel is much more open. So this, um, if I'm saying, for example, men, men, and man, man, I really should feel my jaw is more open and my tongue is much lower for the a ah vowel. Um, so looking at that, I would say um, this one strategy, if you're just focusing on the a ah vowels, is to feel some words like some or a, uh, or the, all these, um, these vowels of the schwa vowel are about the same amount of openness. So I can try the best, the bed, the bet, um, the beg. Um, yes, so another piece of information I wanna give for these words is that um, when I'm saying this vowel, the vowel sound, the eh sound is gonna stay the same in, men, and best, and bet, it's always the same vowel, but how long I hold it may change depending on the context. So for example, when I'm saying bet versus bed, my vowel is slightly longer in bed than it is in bet. Um, that's because uh, when there's a voiced sound like the D, after the vowel, I need to hold it a little bit longer. And that's important to know because for both bet and bed, when I'm saying them in a sentence, often I'm not actually putting that T and D on. So that's the clue to tell which one I'm saying. If I say a bet and a bed, you could probably tell that I said this one first and this one second. This one was just shorter than this. So both of them have the same kind of stopping sound for the tongue where I lift it and I don't release it. Um, I do have a video specifically about vowel length and voiced and voiceless sounds that you might find helpful. When we're looking at then bet versus bat, they're both short. They both have that stopped T. 
And I'm going to just have my mouth more open for bat. So a bet, a bat. You can see and feel, um, even if you put your hand here on your face, a bet. A uh, bet you should feel not much change in the jaw between the uh and the bet and a uh, bat bat you should feel that your jaw opens a little bit more. Now I don't have to do a really exaggerated jaw opening. I don't need bet and bat. <laughs> your mouth is going to get tired if you're using so much opening to get these ah vowels. But you really do need to feel the difference between the between the two. Same thing. Let's try. A uh, bed, not much change. A uh, bad. Um, the other thing that um, can help. So for these words, these are schwas with the e. Eh. The other thing that you can try is using an anchor word like black or red. If I'm saying red bet and matching those two vowels how they sound in my mind, that might help me. As well as black back or black bat. Uh, you can hear the ah is the same in both vowels. You probably don't have too much trouble when you're looking at these two words, red and black, in terms of comparing those vowel sounds. Um, it's just because these words are minimal pairs. Everything else is the same. Um, the vowels are just different. That, that makes those a little more difficult. Um, so it might not be red and black that are good anchor words for you, but when you have a word where you consistently can say the eh vowel, Use it to compare other words or consistently the ah vowel. One more piece of information. Um, for the eh vowel, often the error I hear is that people will make it too tense. So they might make it too open. So they might be saying bed and it would sound like bad. They might also be saying bed with more of an a vowel that's tense. So you want to also make sure that your tongue is relaxed for both of these vowel sounds. Not bad, but bad. And then for the, I mean, not bad, but bed. And then for these vowels, ah, sometimes what the error is that people will say them more with an ah vowel. They sound more British that way. The ah vowel is further back. So I don't really want to say bot, but rather bat. I don't want to say bad, but bad. And so that's another error pattern to watch out for for those vowels. So a lot of information here. Um, I'm trying to go quickly through the e eh and the a eh vowels. If you want more detailed information and more examples of where these vowels happen, if you want to hear it, hear more about the accent error patterns that they have, um, I would highly recommend checking out our Sounds of English course on speechmodification.com. It has videos for each of the Sounds of English talks about the accent error patterns you might have, gives you lots of example words, teaches you about the spelling of the vowels, um, as well as how to correct those accent error patterns, how to practice to change your speech. And it's a great foundational class for improving your pronunciation overall in American English. The good news is all of my online courses on speechmodification.com are either free or they're $2 or less. So they're a really good resource and they're inexpensive. They're just there to help support you, um, to be a nice compliment to the videos if you've been watching, if you've been a member of the channel or subscribed to the channel. Um, it's a great next step. Um, it's not gonna be a big investment for you either. Um, nice to see you. Welcome everybody. Um, I am here live today, so I'll take a couple quick questions before we wrap up. Um, we have um, a question about set and Z. Um, okay, so they're just saying that it's helpful for this. Um, I will keep going and thank you so much for that request for those words. I'll be back again tomorrow with another word of the day class as well as on Friday, we'll have our live question and answer class. You can attend that class and ask me about anything related to pronunciation, American accent, uh, and I'll answer that for you live here on the channel. Thank you so much, those of you who have subscribed to the channel and especially thank you to my channel members. Uh, channel members, can those of you who have joined know that you can leave your comments and questions on any video throughout the week and I'll cover them, answer them for you on Sundays in our members only live class. So if you haven't yet checked that out, click the join button to see that and other perks you can get as a channel member. Thanks everyone, have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. 
speechmodification.com. Bye, everyone. Hope to see you again soon.